What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So right off of our last time, we are pushing into the Balkans and we are beginning the uh, a major effort to push the Ottomans out of the Balkans and hopefully back towards Istanbul. So we have one army here that's holding position, waiting to see if they will advance out to us. And we have also sent an army back to make sure no one leaks through to attack Athens. So without further ado, let us attack this Ottoman stack. I think it would probably be worth my while to begin assembling a force to resecure my Mediterranean islands. So part of my rationale of, current, of ignoring them to date is that based on the previous attacks we've had from the Ottomans in earlier parts they're not exactly a faction I can leave undisturbed they have the capacity to cause significant amounts of problems for me and I was unwilling well I wanted to go at them at full force that's my primary motivation of going after the Ottomans like this and this is already a bit messy so let's make a couple of infantry positions. Or a couple of infantry uh, infantry brigades. So we've got a central brigade a, and a brigade for left and right. Because this terrain's a bit funky. And we've got cavalry split up on both flanks. General's going to be in the centre. My artillery's deployed at the rear. And they're just going to engage. Group units together by. I'm sure I saw this. Might be in a different campaign. Uh, game settings. Nice. None. No, don't mess around with that. March these guys up so they can at least get out of the bottleneck. I'm happy to just march these guys um, if their cavalry fancies getting up to shenanigans. We can merely um, form square to see them off. There's no rush. To run these guys, the centre maybe, because there's lots of en lots of enemies running around. Let's actually provide some targets for our artillery. Yeah, we are going for their howitzers. I probably would like to go for their cavalry, but it's no good targets. We might have a push on the flank. In fact, this infantry wing. I might want to I was curious to see what you guys were doing actually. Let's run everyone else, let's keep these guys in, make these guys form square. Let's run this battalion, let's get these guys to go hit this unit of horsemen. The rest of my infantry charging up should provide enough of a threat. I notice that these guys want to charge their general into the battle, probably against this square. Ooh, they've got a devastating flank shot with this. Um, artillery unit, so I'm going to want to take him out fairly rapidly. Let's begin deploying my infantry on the flank. They've done a great job actually sticking around. And my marines get my marines involved, deploy these Zimandari horsemen, then these infantry units to face off against this Janissary unit. Deploy you guys to engage the Janissaries. These guys square has is just holding on. They are falling rapidly. Let's make sure our artillery is deployed at reasonable target, so to be honest, let's get it get them both firing at these infantry units in the centre. This square could break, because that's quite a big charge. Maybe 
deploying one of my artillery units to support this marine unit. It's not a good idea. Okay, let's start wrapping these flanks around because we do we do now have a bayonet charge in the centre, which might be at risk. Which might be a bit of a vulnerable position. Although we do have bayonets, we've got good infantry. Redeploy my cavalry would be useful. Yeah, that weakened unit is shattered, which is understandable. Keep guard mode on, actually. Let's deploy those guys. To be honest, let's deploy... Get these guys to run up. Square formations are standing strong. This infantry unit can push up to provide supporting fire. Charge the regiment of horse into the grenadiers. That way I can deploy my infantry over towards the centre. Too bad these fellas aren't ready. I just realised I was going to watch the combat. Then I realised I've not really done anything with my other cavalry, which is now getting shot to bits. Lost another infantry unit. So there's a bit of a route in the centre. You guys get out of square. Charge the Israelis. You guys charge the Israelis. To be honest, my general has to now get involved. Let's run these guys into the right position. Good, it's a lot of damage done. Let's make sure our artillery is firing at someone somewhat useful. Ah, oh, my general has sadly fallen. It's unfortunate, but I think I had to get him involved. These janitories are about to fall, or about to rout. Nope, they're now steady. So let's start to bring some of these guys back over here. Run the cavalry to go challenge the other units, the routing units to go take them out. Now my general's bodyguard. Oh, your fellow you musketeers, we're not so worried about you. Artillery, all of you hit this unit of Orta. Of Orta, you guys run up into musket firing position. Damn, some of these janissaries have actually come back. Let's get this cavalry back to safety. We've got lots of guys routing in all sorts of directions, but I'm not really worried about them. This cavalry unit's ch chopping up this Israeli unit. Cavalry's routing because they've formed a slightly more robust infantry corps, so let us counter with our own. All of our cavalry back. So, in this week, you need to try to trace down these gunners wherever they may be to make this formation slightly more effective. Firing on the flank. Come on, these Israelis must be able to kill one guy. Good. Come over here and begin targeting them. You actually stood near the guns. Yeah, I assume it's not just. There's only one guy here, unless they count as two. So these guys are now going to be engaged by the remaining infantry. Or it looks like. 
Yeah, they are going to put. They are planning on forming up, but probably not for very long. My, my preci precision fire. Let's drop it down. Let's keep pushing up. There's 18 of them, but rather they thin out this unit of Israeli a bit more. Whereas these guys are going to be looking at very peaky. Artillery around seen them off. Let's run some cavalry around the flank. Absolutely want to continue. Salt these guys fire well, and theirs, and theirs. Let's run the cavalry in. Let's get my artillery to focus on this guy. And then let's triple speed it. It's got a general involved up here as well. Yeah, they're okay. Charge them up as well. Huh, the edge of the battle map's actually pretty far away up here. You may even be able to kill this unit. Nope. My right clicking doesn't help. And they run away. Still, it looks like we should be able to get the rest of them. And let's halt the artillery fire. Come on, if these guys can kill these three men. We should be able to do a lot of work. On, do a lot of damage to, these, to this last remaining unit. We've got so much cavalry involved now. They're killing over there, which is good. It's clearing them out. There's a few over there. Yeah, they're probably going to make it. These guys are the heroes. Could manually control my army, my cavalry unit, but I'm not that bothered. Sweet! That was bloodier than I thought it would be. That central charge uh, was caused a bit of problems. We did lose 943 men. But it's still about a 3 to 1 ratio, which I'm pretty happy with. So we did lose our general, so we must recruit another. Ernesto Defendi. Is he good? Oh, I was about to say, he's not got a talented defender. We, yeah, we've not got enough to fully replenish this unit, but we've got a lot of cash. To be honest, I could probably stand to just... lose a unit through upgrading others I think that unit's pretty depleted already they're very elite but they're probably not going to survive at least not at that full strength let's bring can you guys leave Ven leave Greece good they're very very um, opposed to this Ottoman force in their territory so suddenly my replenishment bill becomes slightly different Obviously you guys are still waiting in a defensive position. Am I building a gunnery school in Rome or anywhere? Built a great arsenal. Oh no, I need reorganised procurement, don't I? That's where I was. Yep, sadly we lost my general. Let's go to diplomacy. There's not a lot we can really change. Um, but yes, so we do have, we are building garrison forces here at Turin in case the French come knocking, which it looks like they may start to do. But we've got enough cash, or we've got a more reasonable amount of cash to be able to bring up a fairly solid force. And particularly because most of our trade regions are over land, supposedly, even to Sweden and to Persia and... Oof. 
Yes, so right now Bavaria is a handy blocker, preventing us from being attacked by the Poles. Um, the Venetian garrison is helping hold this flank, so I think it is a smart idea to slowly push up. If we can secure Istanbul, start taking some of these frontier towns, I'll have more of an actual front line I can defend, particularly along this river. And blitz it in turn, and let's see how the AI responds. I'm okay with them raiding that port. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you territory, Poland. You've declared war on me, so to quote Wide Open Tombstone, you've called down the thunder, well now you've got it. Especially as our economy is much more stable. Oh, they've nicely walked into a position where we can smash them back. Again. And they've not raided any of our towns. Fortunately, considering a bunch of them were being built. It's actually quite nice. And I also need to build up a proper Italian navy. Because I still do not have one. Um, but I'm soon... I'm going to have money, or I've got money, to do something about it. And the Mughals are really desperate to try and get a foothold in Europe. Like they keep sending stacks and stacks of troops into the... into, um... not northern Europe, but into the Baltic region. You know, north, on the German coast. But it seems to not really be for any majorly useful benefit. So yeah, they've, they've raided the vineyards and gone back because the Mughals haven't taken any territory. Poland and Russia are probably still friendly. Yeah, they're still allies. Uh, the Ottomans, are the Ottomans in there at all? No, the, the Ottomans are just at war with us and the pirates. <laughs> Okie dokie. So here's the current navy I've got now. Let's add another fourth rate ship to be recruited. Provinces and the Poland Lithuania are at war. Understandable because they've got a border. So we may about to be we may about be about to lose the United Provinces. Could build a school. But I think more, more economic spending is probably best. And I probably want to reinforce Ernesto here. Let's repair these because now we're soon we're about to open up a fairly defensive defensible front with them. Let's take these guys and attack. Ah, yeah, oh, actually, this is pretty. Yeah, we lost yeah, 300 men, which isn't great, Avanti. but we've already we've pretty much fought that battle. Um, let's raid the iron workshops temporarily. Need to be secure Bosnia or Serbia. Serbia has a madrasa, which I'll break, which I will destroy. Bosnia might be better because I start to share a border with the Cherokee. There's no walls in either of them. I don't have any intelligence on them. I may as well push on towards Sarajevo. Although actually, no, I do really want them back here to help support the push onto Istanbul. Yep, I've got these howitzers, but I can't really do anything about it right now, so they're going to stay in the Savoy garrison. You guys are building marines. To be honest, this is a pretty good garrison for a town of any size. It's got one and a half thousand, and let's also get our agent into Bologna. So one more turn till I get separation of powers? Yeah. Reduces happiness, but a plus five per turn to town wealth is huge. And I may even repair this craft workshop and this winery because we haven't seen any Ottoman incursions on this side of the border for a while. And everything else seems fairly stable. Unfortunately, we still have no priests, but we are growing Catholicism in Pateras. Athens is about to grow Larissa, which I may build another church school there just to keep spreading Catholicism in this part of the world. Cool. End turn. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I've not really... I want to really secure... I really want to secure ports that open out to the Atlantic before building... Oh, you swines. Let's cancel building of those. I want to... I want to get secure ports on the west coast to be able to more f easily facilitate trade into the trade regions. I don't like doing long shots, having to get through various enemy nations to get there. I suppose I should start to recruit some of these smaller um, gap-filling armies that also provide a useful pool of mobile reinforcements. So I'm probably going to build a small army in Athens, probably about six or seven units. Mainly infantry, a bit of artillery, and some cavalry. And their job will be to clean up any small leftover armies that we find. Like those like those um, Ottoman forces that are pushing towards the towns we're rebuilding. But we will have to see. I do need to. I do need to knock them down because if there's one thing I hate, it's I hate losing, quote unquote, free money, in such simple ways. Because we know, he is going to knock both these down. Or oh, actually, no, we we've already repaired them. Fortunately, we could. Okay, let's dispatch. If we send artillery, they do make it. Three infantry and an artillery unit, they do make it. What is that? Holy hell, that's an auto resolve and a half. I suppose we must have shelled the crap out of them with artillery. Awesome, so Anessa Defendi, move up towards your friend to provide some support. In fact, you guys might even just hang around here just in case something else comes through. That way I can leave these guys doing the offensive duty. I mean, what I'll definitely do is I'll attack the port, the city, and then I will wait and defend because I don't want to attack. Because they'll get a full garrison with a full army in reinforcement. I want these units to attack me. Where I can leverage my artillery advantage. Well, sort of advantage. Hmm. Now might be a good chance to sweep up a couple of ships with my navy. As a fairly simple way of expanding the fleet so we will take a hammering because we're going to be trying to disable their fleet um but my objective oh they're sailing it's not advantageous sailing into the wind so we're going to want to be as far off to the side as we possibly can be try and sail like this in order to not get too screwed over by the lack of the lack of wind. So we're definitely going to be falling south when they do breach our line. Because they have the they have the weather the weather gauge. Let's not go full sail. Can I not do it at full speed? Oh, I can on individual ships. Okay, well, if I do want the lead ship, they should slow down. Hmm, seem pretty, pretty confident. Yeah, we are going to take damage, but we outnumber them fairly comprehensively. I am going to get some free, well, sort of free raking shots with round shot initially 
but I do want to start um, deploying. Okay, let's drop anchor. Let's just stop. And then let's go again. Because right now, this is a lot of fire that we've currently got pointing towards. Currently, it's the fifth up front, but I'm still happy to. I'm still happy to take the advantage. The the advan adv the advantageous shots we have we can make through shooting the stern. I'm absolutely not making any any sense at all, really. And then we've got to do something like this. Wrap around. Something like that. You need to start firing chain. As to you, when you're ready. I've got a handful of guns that are loaded. Within range, sort of. Very long range. Okay, now I want you to fire a round shot. To be honest, I'm probably going to have to start doing something like this. You guys you guys keep firing round shot. You guys pivot to make sure you get your round shot off on target. Your chain shot on target. She's demastered. Drop anchor. Fire round shot. This fourth rate can get some good shots into hand into the enemy fourth rate at distance. You guys keep sailing around. You guys need to fire. Try and slowly creep ahead of her. Full sail, if possible. Be honest, you you can take up this position ahead of their fifth rate. You guys, now you're in round shot range. I want you to sail at full sail to try and sit in front of this fourth rate. While this this guy tries to slowly jib against the wind. You guys need to full sail back here. Sort of around here. Get there in f full speed. But I want you to fire. Yeah, you've got a few guns ready. Full speed. You fire round shot. You fire the limited broadside you can. And get into position ahead of the ship. Should be good round shot firing. Good chain shot firing, but now you've got to fire round shot, point blank range. You guys need to sail like this rapidly. Now you've still got the possibilities. Come on, fire it full, sail it full sail, my lads. Starting to get into starting to get into skull bashing territory. It's interesting the density it's flying, it's more like the Moogle flag there. So in this chapter sell behind this enemy fifth rate, I want my fourth rate to be ready. You guys you keep sailing along sideways, I suppose. You guys Last him. You guys make sail like this. You may actually sail around to make sure the fifth rate doesn't escape. All of you guys sail on to 
help support this fight. Our fifth rate morale is shot to hell. Probably from a broadside. But if we peel left, this fifth rate will be in a position to shoot. So we are going to block this fifth rate, but if they keep sailing straight on. You might be able to blast a fairly good chain shot right into this absolute bulk of masts. Hopefully Aurora should be capable of doing that as well. Just fire as she bears. Sail at a slight angle. You're in a position to shoot two. Retondo de Mondo. If I turn you early enough, you may fire ahead of the latter. Let's decrease sail. Make sure there's no friendly fire. Good. Increase sail. Full sail. Absolutely, you want to continue. You want to try and capture her. Fortunately, we are chasing her down with a fifth rate. So let's triple speed. Pivot, blaster with chain shot. I'm speeding up because right now we're just chasing a routing ship, which is not a massive deal. Let's turn off fire at will because our fifth rate's about to capture her intact think of the prize boys think of the prize so that's a lovely fifth rate and a fourth rate now being taken into his holiness's service huzzah back to Syracuse for repair and refit excellent scavenging operation there Actually, in fact, I may even let's take you guys and not the Zhevek. Bring you guys up to Heraklion to more directly face down the Ottoman Navy threat. And we can build up a second navy down here with some more ships. Actually, let's not spend too much money on my navy at one go. In one go. Because we've got lots of money to spend. I might just get the Governor's Palace just to completely finish this as a building queue um, section. The Military Academy will probably be worthwhile because I might want to start recruiting going down the army board. So what do we get here? Lots of normal units that we expect to see. Looks so like we can no longer recruit Papal Guard, which is understandable. I do need to start spreading the infrastructure love around as well as the port love. Um. Hmm. Let's build. We build a governor's mansion in Athens. What do I build it? Grand Opera House. Grand Opera House is a good cheap thing to spend, it give, especially as it gives you more wealth and more happiness. They want even two grand. Let's build a great arsenal to keep the research slots open. Cool. Yeah, Toronto is blockaded, but not anymore. Awesome. Um, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for more Balkans adventures with the Catholics. Cheers everyone.